the morning show with me, Kenny Lee. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Morning. You all don't want to miss it. That's each and every Friday morning and also on Saturday mornings from 9 until 10. Also, you all can get in on the phone lines by giving me a call at 901 520 1091. That's 901-520-1091. We're gonna get rid of today. Who got to go today? You got to go. He got to go. He got to go. Send him home. He got to go. Uh, 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 you gonna drink your coffee today? Uh, 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 your coffee gonna be ready. Come, 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 come on, your coffee gonna get cold, bitch. No, you gonna get cold, ho. That's what's gonna happen. You gonna get cold. Because you sit up and you know what you was doing. You know it was wrong to sit up and take. We were all black folks working up in that office. And it pissed me off. Because you got rid of one black girl, another black girl, another black woman, another black boy who could have made some money and stayed on the damn job. But you were so damn greedy because you wanted to be the damn boss. And you manipulated that lady knowing she wasn't operating at 100% and got rid of us up out there in the office. Bitch, so you can run it. I'm calling you a bitch because that's what the fuck you is. Because you low down. To get rid of us. And we are black folks. And we should have stuck together. You don't find too many black folks. That get in office. And get a position like that. But it take a motherfucker like Ann. To destroy it. A weak ass bitch. That's why you couldn't have no kids. God been punishing your ass. But you come up in that office. And you destroy it. We all could have stayed there. And made some damn money. But you so fucking evil. You so evil that you had to run your motherfucking back. Every day you run up behind that woman. She don't need you running up behind her. She ain't no motherfucking child. She ain't no fucking child. But you running your ass up behind her every goddamn day. You wrong. And ain't nobody going to tell you that you wrong, Ann. But I'm telling you today, this, that, yes, I've been gone for almost a year or more. But God damn it, when you wrong, bitch, you is wrong. And Ann, you was wrong. I'm telling you. Adrian, you was wrong. Matt, you was wrong. Then you sit up there, Matt, and you played your assistant like she was some kind of pussy. You play her so you can get who you want up in there. And that girl don't even hardly come to fucking work. But y'all took that black girl up out of there. Somebody that was loyal to the boss. See, the real motherfuckers y'all got up out that office. But the fake ones that's still there. Those that was pussy p pilling around. And those who want to sit up there and kiss ass still there. But the real folks left. They gone. That's because y'all fired us. Go tell me I can't go on my social media and talk about nothing while I'm working. A bitch, who you out of your girl and go sit your and all that stealing you've been doing since you walked through the damn door. You've been stealing since you walked through the damn door. And got that boy around there who's supposed to be doing the garbage. He's so damn scared of you. I wish I would. You can't ask that woman to give you a pay hike. And tell them, damn, bitch, you, a, you an assistant. Know your position, bitch. Fuck you call that lady to give you a pay raise for. Know your position. You the reason why she in the shape she because you kept fucking with her, kept riding her coattail. Then you sit up there and got, you got you hired. You got your husband hired. You got your niece, or should I say both of your nieces. And your nephew hired up in there. Damn, what you thought this was a family affair? You got all your kid folks hired up in that office. But I mean, you know how I am. I've always, you know, believed in God. And mm -hmm. I knew, I knew once they did what they did, that things would be like they are now. I, it was already bad, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, you know my type of personality. I'm, I'm straightforward. You know, I'm not. I'm not a um I'm trying to read a message that's coming through. Um like I said, I'm straightforward. I didn't believe in being dogmatic. 
And it's just something because um, a lot of the people that I helped, a lot of the people that I, that I saved because I understood what was going on with the top person, you know, with the clerk. So as I was saying before, I think about how I knew how her health was deteriorating and how she would call me at four o'clock in the morning because her daughter um, would, you know, she does the weather. Right. And so um, she would call me at four o'clock in the morning, Tamara, are you up? And we would always have conversations. And um, during that time, she would divulge a lot of information to me. And with me, I understand, like, I'm, I could never understand, like, how you, how you could just want to see a person without a job. Of course, she was dealing, it was like she had the, the good angel and the bad angel on her shoulder. We knew what she was working with with her assistant. Her assistant was very dogmatic. We all knew what her assistant was doing. We knew what her assistant was doing when she was getting her family member up in there. Her assistant saw that I wasn't a politician and that I didn't really play the game, I guess, as a political person would play the game. I think mm -hmm. her assistant her assistant said to me one time, she's only here for four years. So um, you may as well get what you can get because once she's gone, we gone. I didn't look at it like mm. that. I felt like God had put me there for a reason. Now, I think about even with, because I was the assistant to, um, I was the assistant to the CAO. In mm. the beginning, I was very fond of him. I didn't know at that point that he, I, like I do now, that all the time he wanted the young lady there to stare down. He never really wanted me there. The clerk brought me there, you know? So he kind of stabbed me in the back, even though she didn't want him there. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's it's just, it's just kind of weird, like the way things went. But I would have to say, um, even with the CAO, I don't think he was as dogmatic. Even though he backstabbed me, I don't think he was as dogmatic as the assistant. Everything was basically, the assistant was in her ear, Anne, mm. constantly because the assistant, Anne, wanted all of her family members to have the job. She wanted to benefit from everything legally and illegal that the county had to offer. We we both know that. We all everybody knows what Ann is doing. I believe the people there now know what Ann is doing. I've had conversation with some of the top people. Everybody knew what Ann was doing. And my understand I can't understand why it's still allowed to go on. It's still mm. going on to this very day. Wow. So why aren't that why even with you know Mr. Snodgrass and all of them being there, why are they still playing you know um, they still, you know, turning the blind eye, allowing her to do a lot of the things that she do. Well, it's because I guess a lot of them, yeah, and I think a lot right. of them, are, uh, yeah, I think a lot of them are afraid that the clerk may show. What they're going to be afraid of, because the clerk at this point, Matt is the clerk. Everybody knows that Janice Fully Love is not going back to work. It's unfortunate. And here's the thing: Janice sent me a text message. I would never delete it last when whenever her sister passed away she sent me a text message a long text message after that i forgave her for what she did because i was there up i was speaking to janice i knew she was not working at a hundred percent i knew that so how could i take advantage of a lady that was not working at a hundred percent and turn the need to be ashamed of herself you know, I know mm -hmm. a lot of people say if you find a fool, bump their head, but this lady was not working at 100%. Janice Fullerlow was dearly beloved by the 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 citizens of this county. They didn't know the type yeah. of situation that she was in, but because I have a compassionate heart, I fought, even for Dr. Morgan, even though she cut me in my back, she never, she, two weeks after Dr. Morgan got there, she said, Dr. Morgan got to go. Mm. I fought for Dr. Morgan, an African American woman who has had it hard, I guess. I don't know, because it was easy for her to backstab me. Look at what you did to me. And, and with the very person 
that was gunning for you to begin with. You have to reap what you sow, Dr. Morgan, but it's okay. You know, even with mm. Matt, the comment, Matt, Matt got to go and told me this and told me that he got to go. He got to go. I said, I said, wait a minute, Miss Fully Love. Don't do that. Don't do that. Mm. Matt, Matt hadn't done anything. Calm down. That's what I would be doing at four o'clock in the morning. I had the weight of the world on my shoulder because I understood she had a devil in her ear and I would come to work stressed out because I fought for people who stabbed me in my back. And I dealt with that with myself for a very long time. I was like, dog, if I had just kept my mouth shut, the very people, because I never forget how Matt did me when he walked in there that day when they unappointed me, Matt, I would never forget that. You got to pay for that. I don't know if it's going to come through you losing or your wife losing, but you got to pay for it. Mm -hmm. I never so when you, say, when you say Matt, Matt, when you say Matt, because Matt, you was his assistant and you worked with him hand in hand. Right. I thought maybe you and Matt was cool. I worked extremely hard. I was doing, I was getting paid less than anybody and was making all the money stealing. And I was doing the job she was supposed to be doing. I remember uh, when they when I we got there, Ann was making all of that money because she was supposed to be doing what I was doing. Well, she finally came back because she decided she thought about, okay, well, I can be over the purchasing because I they had initially given me the purchasing. She thought about I could steal money being over purchasing because you know she's a thief. Mm, if you mm, come mm. out to me, Ann, that's the pleasure that I need to show the receipts that I got because I made all kinds of copies before I left there. You better back up off of me. And that little girl that you didn't want there, she is the blessing that has been keeping me off of your ass. You better understand that. So before it would be better for you to come after me than to go after her. I'm just going to tell you that right now. You're going to be sorry. I put this on my life, on my mama life, on my children life. If you don't think I have receipts, if you mess with that child, if you come after, because I can help you coming after me, because all I need is that for you to show for me to show the receipts, but if you mess with that girl, you're going to be sorry, for real, for real. For real, for See, real. See, Ann, 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 Ann got a lot of people okay. that don't like her. You know, she got a lot of people no, that don't, I, don't I, don't I wouldn't like have her. even had problems with Ann bringing all of her family members in, but Ann wanted nobody else to have a job other than her family members. Wow. Everybody helped family member or two from time to time but Ann wanted people fired I even had to sit on the phone sometimes Janice would be so out of her head and I reached out to Janine even after they unappointed me and said Janine go sit up there with your mama because mm. Ann Turner is going to take your mama down damn if she didn't take her down by January wow. even after so she did what she did to me I reached out to her daughter and said Ann Turner is using your mama up go sit up there with her even if you ain't got to do, just sit next to her and watch mm. her because I knew mm. what that helper was doing to her mama. Anne would get so intimidated when Janice would sit there and talk to me because she knew I was going to tell her the truth. I was not afraid of Anne. So she knew whatever came out of my mouth, it was just going to, it was the truth because I felt like I had an obligation by God to be there to help people, not to take people's jobs. A lot of those people have been working there forever. These are people that have been working there 15, 20 years. Why bring in people and appoint them to be supervisors when you got people that have that know the job that Ann knew? She wanted her folks in there. Why not promote some of those people that was already there? These people have been working there for years. I told Matt that I was never afraid. I got this boldness from my daddy, okay? My dad is in politics. But my dad is a, mm. my dad is owns himself. He is not about man. And he always taught me that. What good is it to sit in a position where you have influence and you can't help the people because you're not there for yourself? That bitch was what? over there at City Hall stealing. And then she, I know what she was doing at juvenile court, clerk's office. I know it. Mm. But you had so many people. Because they was power hungry, like Dr. Morgan was power hungry. That's why God had to get her back. That's why when people say forgive Dr. Morgan, I can't forgive her because I know what I know. Okay. And so let me ask you. I did a lot of mad work. I did a lot of the Matt what did he was no work. To do. Matt didn't do no work. Doing. He would, he stayed on his phone too much. He didn't do no work. But Matt, 
when she came and said Matt would be gone in April, and when she said he oh he got to be gone, he was just interim anyway. He'll be gone in April, and I said, well she's telling the truth. I said I got on the I, when she called me at four o'clock. I'm gonna go on and, and get rid of Matt. The first time she said it was before she before she unappointed Kathy. I'm gonna get Kathy to do. I said I said well, oh Miss Fully Love, don't do that. Matt ain't did nothing. I said I'm there. I said I'm there. I see. Matt ain't doing nothing. Just I said, I see he's not doing anything bad. So I'm watching him. That's what I said. That's just what I put in the atmosphere. I said, I'm watching. She said, I don't trust him. I didn't never want him there. I did that. I had another CAO. I only did that because they told me to. My daddy said to me, he said, Now we've supported Janice. A lot of us have supported her financially. He said, I don't like that. Who is that we? Who is that we? She didn't want him there, so who is we? Wow. We have a problem. The people that have supported her have a problem with that. Because who is we for her to put somebody there that she didn't want? So he said, it, it's making me think that somebody has sold out. We got to look more into that. You know what I mean? Because like wow. I said, my dad is a politician. So like I said, you know, um, Kenny, it, it's all good. God always does everything for a reason it forced me to start cultivating and nurturing a lot of the gifts that god has has given me and i haven't skipped a beat as a matter of fact i do a lot better, okay but i know yeah, but I that i was there to be a blessing to a lot of people and even though i was i was bold and i was blunt a lot of those people don't know that a lot of the reasons why that they Probably because she fought so hard, she did not want Tabitha to have that job. I told wow. Tabitha, Tabitha, keep your mouth closed, okay? The clerk was calling me. Why, Ann? I said, Miss Fully Love, you are the clerk, not Ann. If you want her to have that job, just give me the okay, and I will make sure that I send her application over there. Okay, well, just don't say anything to her. That bothered me. That's why I called Janine. I was like, well, listen, you know, you're the clerk, not her. Okay, well, we're well, we going to do it and, and just be quiet about it, and we don't want her to know. Why did she want anybody to know? Why was she and so she afraid was the of me? Clerk. And she was the clerk. That's how I know she was not working at 100%. And you could hear Ann, well, I'm I'm protective of her. No, helper, you wasn't protective of her. You was protective of your interest, which came through her, because you were not the clerk. Mm -hmm. I understood that you was not the clerk, and that's why you wanted me gone. But Matt, I'm going to tell you something. You got your girl there, Matt. And I, and I promise to God I don't have nothing against her, because I worked with over at the sheriff's office. But Matt, you got to reap what you sold because I know exactly what you did and what you did to me. A lot of people are not happy about that because you don't mm -hmm. know who I know. A lot of the people was not happy about that and they knew why you did it. So I didn't <laughs> have to say anything even before I knew what you did. My A lot of people said, oh, he was behind it. I said, no, he was not behind that. No, he wasn't. And then I got to thinking about when Janice told me, well, I didn't know this until Matt brought it to my attention. And I was like, dog, I just saved him twice. Because Ann Turner, first of all, Ann had this idea. Ann talked bad about him from day one, talked bad about him going to do that show until I said something to her. I said, you ain't got nothing to do with him doing that little show on Channel 3. Who do you think you no, are? She didn't want him, didn't want him to do all the show. The reason why she didn't like me is because I stood in the gap for a lot of the people that backstabbed me. Yeah, she didn't want him going on that show. Then, like she said, she didn't want me on Facebook or Instagram. She knew damn well she couldn't do nothing about me being on my show. 